actually to convey the message of Islam to them. And any of us who does not do that is a sinner. And that's the point that we should be very concerned about. That we find ourselves in circumstances where we are sitting or we're working with non-Muslims and we are not conveying to them Islam. I think one thing is that we are all ambassadors of Islam by default, whether or not we like it. By our actions, Islam may be judged. Now, to those people from the West who don't know anything about Islam, the only thing they would have which to base Islam is on our actions. But I tell them in retrospect, what if I were Muslim and you're stay in the West, and I watch about Northern Ireland and television, should I assume that Christianity permits killing? And, you know, bombing and maiming and all that? I said, no, you know we're not that, it's not that simple not to do that. But unfortunately for them, they don't have a frame of reference because there isn't much information. But when you're in the company, you know, Westerners have a taboo about talking about details of religion. You don't ask them if they pray directly because many get upset. But I think the key thing is, by our act, we have to be especially careful in their presence to have appropriate actions and not to, uh, to, to, to do things wrong because I said they may come to the wrong conclusion. Not only are we punished for what we did wrong, but for having given them the bad impression of what we have done. Uh, but uh, I, I think the, the key thing is every good deed is charity. You can talk a lot about Islam without using words which have very negative meanings to the Westerner. The words Muslim and Islam have been slandered and have very negative impressions. But you can, you can just by saying, well, I'm not going to say good morning to you, I'm going to say peace. How are you going to get mad at me about that? You might say the morning's not good, but you can't be upset at me if I say peace to you or that even the smile can be carry. You can find ways around to introduce some Islamic concepts and make them receptive slowly. It takes a long time. But I think the key thing is, you know, we have to persevere and be careful what we do in there.